Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitpatcher.com, out here for another cure review, and today I'm talking about this little guy right here, the AOTU portable backpacking stove. So what is it? It is basically a little lightweight portable stove that will screw on top of any of your like butane canisters for backpacking or camping. So there are some kind of cool little features that are built into it that I've grown to appreciate, and I'll show you those now. For starters, size and weight matters. So this is the little carrying case for the stove compared to, I think this is the Pocket Rocket by MSR. Largely, largely the same, kind of minimalist, goes on top of a canister. I would say it's a little more stable as far as it folds out a little bit more. Have I found it to be an issue? No, I haven't. And honestly, this works for me way better than this. And it's actually significantly less expensive. So part of it for me is these legs basically spin around and collapse back to that one side. These little pieces fold out, that goes in and this goes into its case like so. Bam. And again, size and weight, like it matters. Often I'll end up using this pot right here and one of these canisters will nest inside of it. This, however, will not, but this will. So that'll sit there, this lid goes on here, and now I have basically the entire cook kit like right there, which is really handy. Taking it out to set this thing up, you just take it out of its case, and this just screws right onto your canister. And once we get that on there, there's actually the seal around the bottom. It, I've never had issues with it leaking, but that's there. And then this just kind of goes around. These pieces fold out. And then the other nice feature is this right here. Piezoelectric, whatever it's called. So basically when you turn it on, get the gas going, done. Again, a feature this MSR1 does not have. So yeah, get this thing set up a little close up real quick. Once you screw this piece on here, this little tab, it just slides and it grabs all of them as it goes around. And then these just fold out, basically creating a more stable platform. This is where you turn it on, button, and you can adjust this down and you can simmer or you can just crank it like a rocket if you're just going to end up boiling stuff. I will say there's no like built-in windscreen, so like, yes, you can simmer, but depending, if there's a bunch of wind, you're going to need to basically block the wind. Otherwise, it can blow out if you have the flame that low. Which brings us to how have I used it and how is it done for me? Well, I've used it a lot and it's honestly done a really good job taking on a ton of different backpacking trips and it's really convenient, lightweight, all that stuff stows together like I showed you, which I really appreciate. And having this to be able to light it is really handy. While I pretty much always have a lighter and fire sheath with my Amtac blade so I can throw sparks, just being able to click this and light the stove, way better, like really convenient. Are there places where this hasn't done well for me? Yes, and it's not unique to this little stove. Here's the thing, when it gets really cold, these canisters do not work well. Like when you're out in the snow and it's really cold, like below freezing. So you kind of, like it's just a known quantity. Any type of stove that just screws onto one of these is not gonna do good. You need something that basically like a line that'll go so you can have this thing upside down and it'll basically like vaporize it, run it through the heat before it actually comes out. 
Like there's stoves made specifically for really cold weather. This, however, while not being it, is really lightweight, really portable. And the stove can be had for all of about $10 on Amazon. Pretty amazing. Yes, it's made in China. But kind of the analog to this, that MSR Pocket Rocket, you're looking at like 50 bucks. I would much rather have five of these. And even if it's not like my go-to stove that I'm using all the time, because honestly, I'm constantly swapping things out because I'm in the business of reviewing things, trying different stuff. And so even if I'm not taking this into the back country with me, that whole setup with that pot, a fuel canister, and this thing all nesting together pretty much hangs out in my vehicle in a go bag. So for a $10 investment plus fuel canister and one of those pots, I'll link all that stuff. You basically have a turnkey setup for purifying water if need be, if it's like questionable water, or cooking food. Like pretty small investment for a little bit of peace of mind as well. Pretty solid overall. I've been really pleased with it, having used it for probably about three years now. A buddy of mine actually gave this to me yeah, probably three or four years ago. Pretty solid little stove. And like I said, there'll be links down below if you want to check this stuff out. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it, whether it's liking and sharing videos or picking up shirts over on Teespring or supporting me directly through Patreon. And if you have questions for me, happy to answer them over there where we have active Discord. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.